welcome back to the class on the power semiconductor drives in this lecture we are going to discuss about the four quadrant operation of a hoist so initially we are going to see what is the physical meaning of the four quadrant operation next how we are going to achieve this four quadrant operation in a hoist so before going to the four quadrant operation we can able to define the positive speed as well as a negative speed and a to positive torque as well as a if the motor speed is giving a acceleration to the load means that you have to take it as a positive speed if the motor speed is giving a deceleration to the load means that we have to take it as a negative speed In the same manner one direction of the torque produced by the motor that you have to take it as a positive another direction of it becomes a negative so one more point what you have to remember here is that load torque is always opposes the torque which is developed in a motor now here we are going to see what is the physical meaning of the four quadrant operation this is the x axis on the x axis you have taken the torque this is the positive torque this is the negative torque on the y axis you have taken the positive speed as well as the negative speed in the first quadrant i think this is the first quadrant already we know the formula for the power power equal to speed into torque if the speed is positive and torque is positive means the power becomes a positive which means that the motor will be taking a power from the supply it will be acting as a motor suppose if the power is negative now the motor will be acting as a generator which is giving a power back to the supply so that the speed of the motor will be decreases that is coming under the regenerative braking of the motor now we come to the first quadrant operation in the first quadrant operation the speed is positive the torque is positive now the power becomes a positive the power becomes a positive the first quadrant is representing the forward motoring of the in second quadrant speed is positive whereas the torque is negative nothing but a in the first quadrant if you are assuming that the speed of the motor is rotating in a clockwise direction in second quadrant also the speed of the motor will be rotating in clockwise direction only but the developed torque is a negative this is the developed torque is a negative the power becomes a negative so when all the power becomes a negative means now the motor will be giving a power back to the supply that is happen only in a braking of the motor the second quadrant is representing the braking in a forward motor now come to the third quadrant in the third quadrant both torque and speed is negative nothing but the power becomes a positive the machine will be taking a power from the supply the speed is negative nothing but now the motor will be rotating in a opposite to the first quadrant the third quadrant is representing the reverse motor now if we come to the fourth quadrant torque is positive whereas the speed is negative the power becomes a negative nothing but the motor is giving a power back to the supply which is representing the braking in a reverse direction how we are going to achieve this four quadrant operation by means of a hoist so let me see initially what is the construction of the hoist so if you observe this construction of the hoist this is a drum this drum is connected to the mechanically coupled to the motor so when the motor is rotating the drum also will be rotating around the drum the rope will be wound around the so one end of the rope is connected to the counter weight another end of the rope is connected to the case this is the load which is there in a case so this is the coupling this is drum this is rope this is pulley this is loaded case this is counter weight see when the motor is rotating the drum also will be rotating once it is rotating rope will be moving upwards and downwards 
depending upon the in which direction the drum is rotating see here how we are going to select this counterweight means it is more than the empty case and less than the loaded case so this is the in which we are going to select the weight of the counterweight now suppose let we take a one example weight of the empty case is 200 grams loaded case is 700 kg now how much weight we are going to select for the counter weight means between these two values nothing but a, the weight becomes a 500 kg we can take the 500 kg as 600 kg as 650 kg also that is depending upon the design of the hoist now we are going to see the the four quadrant operation of this hoist how we are getting the first and fourth quadrant operation of a hoist on the x axis you take the torque on the y axis you have to take the speed this is a positive speed this is a negative speed this is the positive torque this is the negative torque this is the drum which is connected to the shaft of a motor this is the loaded case in this case we are assuming that this loaded case will be moving upwards by means of a motor other side of the rope is connected to the counterweight now we are going to find out the what is the direction of the load torque the load torque is nothing but a, the torque due to the loaded case minus torque due to the counterweight the torque due to the loaded case is greater than the torque due to the counterweight so the net direction of the loaded torque is experiencing in this direction here we are assuming that this hoist is a low speed hoist so windage losses are neglected so the torque due to this hoist is constant with respect to the speed so that we are representing here this is the positive direction of the low torque which is experiencing on the motor due to the loaded case which is trying to move in a upward direction so the torque produced in the motor is always opposite to the load torque so our interest is to move this loaded case to the upward direction so the motor has to rotate in a anti clockwise direction this is the first quadrant operation here if the motor is rotating in anti clockwise direction the torque is anti clockwise direction then it is nothing but a motoring operation so the case will be moving upward direction in this case what physically meaning of this one means the torque developed by the motor and the speed also the force to so the motor will be taking a power from the supply it will be rotating in a anti clockwise direction to oppose the load torque now if we come to the fourth quadrant operation in fourth quadrant operation we are assuming that the case is coming to the downward direction the direction of the load torque which is experiencing on the motor due to the loaded case and counterweight is same that is clockwise direction so the torque developed develop in the motor also always opposite to loaded torque so that is anti clockwise direction but in this case to move the fully downwards the motor has to rotate in a clockwise direction motor which is giving a deceleration to the load so the speed is negative torque is positive but the power taken by the motor will becomes a negative which is representing the braking so when it is the case is coming downwards there is a braking torque will be developed in the motor so that it can able to control the how much speed the case is coming to the downward direction to get the third, second and third quadrant operation the empty case will be has to move upward direction as well as a downward direction on the x axis you have taken the torque on the y axis you have taken the speed in third quadrant operation the speed is positive whereas the torque is negative this is the drum around the drum the rope is bonded one side of the rope is connected to the counterweight another side of the rope is connected to the empty gear now we are assuming that 
the md case will be moving upward direction we know that the torque due to the counter weight is greater than the md case so the load torque will be anti clockwise direction but the magnitude is a constant because it is a low speed hoist that we represented here this line we know that the motor torque is always opposite low torque so the direction of motor torque in a clockwise direction to move the empty case to the upward direction drum has to move in anti clockwise direction by means of a motor so the motor speed will be in a anti clockwise direction in this quadrant torque is negative where the speed is positive nothing but the power is becomes a negative this motor is giving a power back to the supply so that it is nothing but a braking because this counter weight is torque is more when compared to the empty case so it fastly moving upwards so to oppose that one this motor has to apply some amount of brake to that empty case against the counter weight so that this empty case will be move slowly to the upward direction both the torque and the speed is a negative but the power becomes a positive nothing but a, the motor is taking a power from the supply which is the motor will be running in a opposite direction that we are going to see now this is a drum one side of the rope is connected to the empty case another side is connected to the counter weight now this empty case has to move from the upper level to the lower level this is the direction of the movement of the empty case this is the direction of the load torque there no change in the load torque the motor torque always opposes the load torque this is the direction of the motor torque so this is the direction of the speed in which the drum has to move nothing but the motor has to run so that this empty empty gaze will be moving from the upper level to the lower level so these are the things what we can understand from the four quadrant operation of the hoist now before going to end up this class we are going to summarize today class we have seen the what, different quadrant operation next we have seen the what is the construction of the hoist so to better understanding about the four quadrant operation of a hoist thank you very much if you have any doubt you can ask me directly or in a comment box of my youtube channel so that i can answer you all your questions